everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about one important functionality within Power BI and that is drill down. I will walk you through how to enable this functionality, when you should use it and everything you should know about drill down. So let's get started. And here we are in our Power BI test file. Here we have a bar chart displaying store cost by state. <clears throat> For this example, we have added a hierarchy or data field y-axis and before we dive deeper into the visualization let me first explain what a hierarchy is in power bi hierarchy is a way of organizing data into levels most important allowing users to drill down or drill up within visualization so this functionality is very important incredibly useful and can make your power bi reports much more interactive and insightful so we can create many types of hierarchies depending on our data we can create organizational hierarchy, geographic location hierarchy, product hierarchy or most common one and that is date hierarchy it should be within our calendar table. Now how you will know that you have enabled drill down functionality? You will recognize that drill down functionality is enabled visualization if you have these arrows in top right corner. These are drill down icons and they help us navigate through the hierarchy. Now let's go through each one and understand how they work. First arrow up is drill up icon. Right now it's grayed out because we are at the highest level in our hierarchy and that is state and since there is no level above this we cannot drill up further next icon is arrow down and this is icon to turn on drill down now when you should use this as a business analyst i often get requests like uh, can i click on florida and see all the results related to florida if i click it no i cannot do that either for texas but if you turn on zero down functionality yes you will be able so let's turn it on you will know that it is on once we have black circle and now let's navigate to florida and click on florida now we have a list of all cities within florida and store cost per city and let's assume that end users want to drill down even more to the lowest level they just have to click on city they want to explore let's select orlando and in orlando we have only one store that is store tree now let's go back in top right corner where icons are and now as you can see drill up icon is not grayed out anymore so that means that we can use it we use this icon to go back to the higher levels it takes us back from store level data to city level and back to the state level now we are at highest level because arrow is grayed out now we have double down arrows clicking on this icon will take us directly to the next level of hierarchy for example if we click on it it will take us to the next level so we won't see store cost by state we will see store cost by city and if we click again this icon will take us to the lowest level and it will show us all stores and cost related to each store within our data set now let's go back using drill up and we have last icon that is expand all down one level in the hierarchy what this icon does is it will take us to the next level leaving previous level so let's click on it and now as you can see we have state level and city level state level city level so it's leaving both levels but if we select again this splitted arrow it will take us to the third level leaving first two levels selected and now as you can see we have state city and the store state city and store so we have all three levels displayed here let's go back now let me show you how to build hierarchies it's very simple navigate to your data pane and first what we need to know is which hierarchy we want to create let's start from our state hierarchy so i have state data in store cities table so first what we need to find is what will be the highest level in our hierarchy and that is state so navigate to state right click on it select create hierarchy and there it is new hierarchy has been created now let's find next level and that is city right click on it 
add to hierarchy, select state hierarchy. Now let's find next level and in my case that will be a store, store ID. Here it is, right click on it, select add to hierarchy and select state hierarchy. And there it is. This is our hierarchy that we have just created. We have state as highest level, city second level, and lowest level is store ID. And you can add um, as many levels as you want. You are not limited to just three levels. I have one more example, and that is product hierarchy. Let me show how it works. Here I have a list of categories and total sales by category. And let's assume that our end users want to explore this data a little bit more, find out which products within snacks and branded foods are most popular. Let's turn on drill down mode, it's on. Let's select snack and branded foods. Now we can see most popular subcategory is chocolate and candies. Now let's check which, which chocolates and candies are most popular. Let's click on it and as you can see, Toffee, candy, and lollipops are the most popular within this subcategory or category. Now let's go back to highest level. Now let me show you how I created category hierarchy. So let's find table where we have product data and that is product hierarchy. Find highest level, that is category in our case. I click on it, create hierarchy find next level and that is subcategory right click on it edit yeah, select hierarchy let's find lowest level that is product edit category that's it simple as that thank you for watching this video if you learned something new leave a like and check out my other videos, maybe you can find something interesting that can help you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.